This is part 2 of link tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss different ways of writing link queries. To write link queries, we use the link standard query operators. Here are a few examples of them. Select, from, where, order by, etc. There are a lot more than this. For the full list of all the link standard query operators, please check the MSDN website. There are two ways to write link queries using the standard query operators. One, using lambda expressions. We discussed what lambda expressions are in detail in part 99 of C-sharp tutorial. If you are new to lambda expressions, I would strongly encourage you to watch that video first. Another way of writing link queries is by using SQL-like query expressions. From a performance perspective, there is no difference between the two. Which one to use purely depends on your personal preference. If you are from a SQL Server background, then probably you will like using SQL-like query expressions. But keep in mind, behind the scene, link queries written using SQL-like query expressions are translated into their Lambda expressions before they are compiled. All these standard query operators are implemented as extension methods on I enumerable of T interface. This means that on all the types that have implemented I enumerable of T, we should be able to use these link standard query operators. For example, arrays implement I enumerable of T. Non-generic collection classes that are present in system.collections namespace like array list, hash table, they also implement I enumerable of T generic collection classes like list, dictionary, etc. They also implement I enumerable of T. This means that on all these types, we should be able to use all these link standard query operators. In a later video session, we'll discuss what extension methods are and how to write our own extension methods on a given type in detail. But for now, let's just focus on writing uh, in our link queries using these two uh, different ways. For this demo, we'll be using the student class. It's a straightforward class with three auto-implemented properties here, ID, name, and gender. And we also have got the static method, get all students. And this method is returning list of student. This list class, it's a generic collection class, it's, which is present in system.collections.generic namespace. And all the generic collection classes implement I enumerable of T. So we should be able to use the standard query operators on list of student. Okay, I have already typed the code required for the student class to speed things up. So let's copy that code and let's flip to Visual Studio. So here I have an empty ASP.NET web application project. All I have done so far is added this web form, dragged and dropped a grid view control, and I have selected colorful scheme. So now to this project, let's go ahead and add a class file. And let's call this student.cs. And let's paste in the code that we have just copied. And this class is pretty straightforward. So there we have the three auto-implemented properties. Get all students is a static method returning list of students. And the first thing that we are doing is creating a list of student object. And then we are creating you know, several student objects in line here and populating the properties. So we have got one male student at the moment. So one, two, and three male students, and we have got three, uh, two female students. So all we are doing is creating the student object and then adding it to this list, okay? So after we are done creating all the students, we are returning that list back. So pretty straightforward method there, all right? Now what we want to do is we want to display all the male students within this grid view control. So keep in mind there were three male students. So we want to display all of them in the grid view control. So let's see how to write a link query. So first we'll look at writing it using um, Lambda expressions. So student class, this one has got get all students and notice what it is returning. It is returning list of student. So if you look at list class and if we go to the definition on this list class. Notice that this list class actually implements I enumerable of T, which means on list of student, we should be able to use those query operators. Okay, so on the student class, let's invoke that get all students method. And then what we want to do is retrieve only the male students. So I'm going to use 
the where standard query operators and then here we pass in a predicate so what kind of students do we want we want all the students who are male so here I'm going to specify um, you know a variable called student you can give this variable any name you want so I'm calling it student so student such that student dot gender equals male so this where method is going to return an i enumerable of students you know it's going to return all male students okay so let's go ahead and store the query results in i enumerable of student and let's call this maybe query result okay and we want to display these students in a grid view control so all you need to do is grid view one dot data source equals that query result and invoke data bind method that's it let's go ahead and run this so here we're using a lambda expression so notice that it only displays the three male students now let's see how to rewrite this query using SQL like you know expressions so instead of using a lambda expression like this I can rewrite the same query using SQL like syntax so so we use the from keyword first from uh, give a variable this variable is called range variable we'll discuss what is meant by range variable in detail in a later video session for now um, you know let's continue with the query so from student in this collection so student dot get all students which is returning list of uh, students so what we want to do is where student dot gender equals male so we only want such kind of students now if I end the query here you know we are going to get a compilation error look at what the error says a query body must end with a select clause so if you are using SQL like expression a query body should end with a select clause so you have filtered the student but what you want we want to select that student so we use the select keyword so select student and that's it so let's go ahead and run this this time we should have the same results um, here we are using SQL like query expressions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day